what are you waiting for if you have not subscribed subscribe now turn on bell notification give this video a thumbs up let's go guys once again welcome back to ibex hill this is one of the best residential areas in lusaka zambia when i started my youtube channel sometime last year i continued deposting videos like this there's another part of ibex hill which is very near to the american embassy it is also quite expensive i did a video about it um such that i even attracted a lady who has now become my friend all the way from the u.s she has come to settle in zambia and surprisingly she opted to come and live in this residential area so guys we've already started you can continue watching some of these beautiful houses take a look at these beautiful houses they are in ibex hill so ibex hill uh, these are some of the plots which were farms. They were large farms long time ago and they have been subdivided or sold to other people and people are building new houses out of them. Uh, so when I invited an American friend, she came and she chose this place. She really wanted to settle in this area. I took her around until she came and fell in love with ibex hill that is where she has settled now surprisingly enough in this same area that is one of the reasons why i decided to do another video follow-up video about ibex the same ibex is where the president former president 60th president of the republic of zambia Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu has chosen to live. So, uh, President Edgar Lungu is now living in this area. In this video, so uh, I'm going to show you, I'm just showing you around the beautiful houses where the neighborhood for Edgar Lungu. And this place happens to be my neighboring residential area where I live. I live in the Avondale area so next to avondale area that's where you find this beautiful neighborhood so this is the neighborhood for former president edgar lungu take a look at at this place ladies and gentlemen i feel it is really really beautiful no wonder i decided to make a video i'm also not surprised why uh, the president also decided to retire in this area to retire and come and settle in this particular area so there is i mean it's not it's not a secret it has been out now in news i'm not going to speculate much maybe you have already heard that the house where president lungu has decided to settle in belong to one of zambia's um football players known as the stopila sunzu so stopila sunzu uh is the one who owns the house where government will be renting the house for president edgar lungu in this same area known as the ibex hill so this is typically how Ibex Hill looks like. I'm also going to give you and show you some of the houses, give you an idea about the rentals in this area, uh, how much you may buy a plot in this area. I checked out one. So uh, please watch this video up to the very end. Remember, if you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on your notification, give this video a thumbs up this is what gives me so passion about uh, uh property videos because i love places i love talking about such houses so i'm going to also uh give you 
an idea about how much a plot of land costs in this video. I also went, checked out one video, like I always tell you, that I normally go to places, find out about the plots. I'm going to take a look at one, then, which I did. I'll even show you a, a short clip and how much this particular plot costs. So you can continue watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I love about Ibex, the plots. Most of the places are really well maintained. Even the way they, they make some offense, they don't... Uh, most of them will not just build the offense for the sake of building a high fence they'll add some style to it just like this one you can see it's not really just plain there is a way they would decorate the pillars or maybe take a look at this one or the way they paint it there will be a kind of touch which is added to it today president lungu in this area uh, where he is living he even attended again church uh, at one of um, the Catholic, it is known as St. Teresa Catholic Church, uh, which is also next, which is between Ibex Hill and the Avondale area or Chainda area, a place known as St. Teresa Catholic Church. That's where he even attended church and he had some questions. People were asking him. Uh, if he is still in the politics and this is where he even talked about so openly that he is not standing again so he says uh, his party where he lost the patriotic front that they should rebrand the party because uh, and look for um, they'll find another lead somebody who must take on he said he is tired and there's nothing fuss about it. He is tired and would love to rest. And asking him as to what he thinks about life after politics or how he's coping uh, after losing. He said he is used to this kind of life. So there is nothing really new about it. Uh, about his retirement so he has retired and he is enjoying it like that so he even attended church at the catholic church in the which is known as saint Teresa catholic church which is in chainda area or avondale area so one of the remarkable things about the ibex residential area is the greens and also not only just beauty, and they differ the way they put. Look, take a look at these houses, which are valuable for rentals, but they cost some fortune. So rentals, comment down below if you can live in such a residential area. For example, this residential area, a two-bedroomed house or a three-bedroomed house costs about not about what i'm telling you is the real i found out today today is a sunday the month end of august a residential area in this place cost two bedroom or three bedroom house it cost a whopping eight thousand five hundred kwacha yes eight thousand five hundred kwacha think about it take a moment would you live in such a residential area for 8,500 kwacha? So this is Ibex area. Take a look at the trees. Take a look at the roads. Take a look at more upcoming houses. The place is tranqu tranquil. It's so quiet. This area, you, you rarely find the petty thieves, those people who break into people's home, not this area. This area 
is for the rich. I'm not surprised why President Lungu decided to be in this area. Now take a look at this White House. White on the top right, here on the top right, that's the American Embassy. The American Embassy. That is one of the reasons why I said in my previous video, I said one of the reasons why this area became expensive is because of the presence of the Americans. So most of the Americans, they made rentals in this particular area to shoot up. So the value of houses in this place is extremely expensive. We are told it's in public domain, for example, where President Lungu has gone the house, the owner Stopila Sunzu, who happens to be Zambia's uh, football player or soccer player, uh, that his house, he was he once was trying to sell his house for 23 million kwacha. At that exchange rate, that was about 10 million kwacha house. Yes, the houses are really beautiful in this particular area. Now, take a look at this plot. This is the plot where I came to find out. This plot is about between 15 to 20 meters. So let's say 15 meters by 100 meters. Guess the price? Guess the price. I did this today, guys. 1.5 million kwacha. Yes, 15 by 100 meters. 1.5 million kwacha. Then these houses, guys, there are about six of them. Two bedrooms and three bedroomed houses. They go for 8,500 kwacha renting and they are all taken. More beautiful houses in this area. Good roads. Paved parking spaces. That's Ibex Hill. That's how you define Ibex Hill. So this is the neighborhood for President Edgar Lungu, who has put it officially. He has handed over, he has hung up his gloves. He will not stand in the year 2026. He has spoken that he needs somebody to come and take over for where he has left. He has made it clear that the patriotic front, the part at which he stood as president, where he served as president, he says the party must rebrand and replace him with somebody else who will take over the party. He is not standing again. This video, guys, I didn't want to be so nosy and go and film his house. For the sake of respect, I didn't want to take uh, pictures of his house. So um, I, I just wanted to show you the neighborhood. This is one of the most beautiful 360 Convention Center one of the beautiful places where you can do corporate functions, wedding, and other things. Thank you so much, guys. If you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. We are on a journey to 20,000 subscribers. Please support me by watching my videos and subscribing to my channel